Hello there, watchy people. How is it going? Welcome along to the Rex to Riches series on Farming Simulator 22. Uh, as I said last time, uh, we are going to kick off by uh, mowing. We're going to get these two bits of grass mowed, uh, and then we're going to create a bigger field over there. So I've put the time down to real time, so it's one time speed, uh, just so that we've got enough time in the day to do it. Uh, but yeah, we're going to crack on straight away with a, um, a time lapse of me mowing the field. So yeah, that's that's what's going to happen. Um, <laughs> so I need to hook up the... Uh, oof, blimey. Hyperlapse, sorry, not time lapse. Blimey, I did it again. Did I say that? I think I said time lapse. Anyway. Either way, what we're going to do is get the big mower on and we're going to mow these bits of grass and we'll do all three operations we'll get the whole thing bailed up um, probably in one in one hyperlapse just to get it done and out the way go on are you going to attach there we are and uh, yeah hopefully that'll get us uh, get us started off nicely so what which one are we on now we're on that one you come out and down Nice, are you down? Yes, you are down. And then, oh, you can turn on. And that should be that. I'll see you in a couple of minutes. That's uh, those fields sorted. I hope you put your guesses for numbers of bales down in the comments. Uh, as usual, I forgot to ask you to. But um, <coughs> I feel like it's less than previous. What do we got? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. <coughs> I feel like we got 19 before. Um, so yeah, a little bit less for some reason. I don't know whether that's my poor cutting or collection or whatever. Uh, however, what we are now going to do is go find our hedge devouring tool, wherever that's gone. Where has that gone? I don't see it. Where did we leave it? We definitely bought it, right? I do remember buying it. Where is it gone? It's not behind... Oh, there it is. It's at the back, behind the uh, baler. Hopefully we can get in there and grab that. Uh, but yes. Oh, zoom in a little bit so we can see where we're going. We are definitely going to need some more shed space. There we go. I mean, this sort of thing's fine being at the back of a shed because we basically never... Um, Oh, that was the wrong button. Is it? It must be F5. There we go. It's F5. Let's us see the uh, the yellow poles in the hedges. Uh, 
that. So yeah, we get to now cut down all of this. This is going to be cool. Is it just... Yeah. Right. Turn you on. And then back up. And we might not even have to lower it. No, we don't. There you go. I mean, if we do, that's it. We can get rid of the bottom bit as well. Uh, but essentially what we should be able to do now is to drive backwards. Nope. Apparently we can't. Apparently it doesn't want to cut that stuff. Right, so we have to be on side on for this whole thing, which is a bit of a shame. But, not to worry. There we go. And then we can drop it down to get the last of it. Lovely. Uh, and this is going to take us a little while to get this whole row. Come on. Why are you not... Why are you not cutting this time? There we go. We want to get... No? We're not over it. There we go. Got it that time. Beautiful. Yeah, we're going to go all the way along this hedgerow doing this. Uh, so I guess it makes sense for me to just cut till I've done it because you don't need to see me doing it over and over again, do you? Are you... Oh, went to the menu by accident. Well, I don't know quite why that's still there, but... <laughs> there must be like a tiny little bit of it still there. Maybe, I don't know. Do you guys want to watch me do this whole thing? It's kind of interesting in its own way. There we go, that's that bit done. When you put it down, it actually lifts the tractor off the ground, which is uh, quite an impressive feat with this tractor. There we go. Put you down there. Get rid of that bit. I think I'm going to leave the trees where they are for now. We'll decide later on if they are a nuisance and that uh, we should get rid of them, but... I'm quite, uh, I'm quite liking keeping a little bit of naturality to it. I know I'm gonna hate it when I'm when I'm running machinery around, but you know what? There could be there could be worse things to be doing, and it'll give you guys a bit of entertainment in uh, in my hyperlapses when I'm crashing into more things. I hit a good few things uh, that time when I was doing the mowing. There we go. Man, this thing is such a cool piece of gear. I love it. Thankfully, we have a big enough tractor to run it now. This thing is uh, a beast. Uh, right, it's going to be tricky to get this one without getting the tree, so I'll do my best, but if we do lose the tree by accident, then I do apologise. Oh, blimey, I can't even get there. I'm going to be right on the very edge of it. Can I see it from this side? Yeah, that's better. Nice. And we did it, and we saved the tree. Superb. We might have to cut some low branches off, though, because we need, do need to get around the base of the tree, at least. Check that out, guys. That's beautiful. And now we can get rid of that... Um, uh, wrong button again. There we go. Now we can get rid of that uh, gate as well. So if we go down to here, construction. How do we demolish the gate? Uh, the gate might be stuck there. Does it have to be closed or something? Is that is that the deal with the gate? Let's see what happens. Demolish. Um, yeah, that's that's it. That's a bit of an issue. Decoration. Uh, 
Okay. Well, it looks like we might have um, a gate there forever now. <laughs> so that's a bit of a shame, but uh, never mind. We'll just open it and uh, hope that it doesn't cause us too much trouble. Cool. All right. Well, now we can go and get the... Oh, we're going to have to get a cultivator, aren't we? And and do that that joining piece there. Hello, tractor. Excuse, oh, don't stop there, please. You can stop there, though. You can stop. Thank you. Right. Pop this back where we found it. And then, yeah, we are going to need a... Uh, cultivator sadly. I think that yellow one's the cultivator. I didn't realise we had one that was so large. That's that's cool. Right, you can go there. Whoa! Just caught the, uh, the pole there. So now the question is if I cultivate the grass does that make it 100% fertilised? Because it's already partially done. We'll have to run a little test on that. See how it goes. Because uh, I don't know what the deal is going to be. Let's let's start here and we'll cultivate this. This ground here. There we are. And we want to do allow create fields. That's that one. So that we can... do this bit. Superb. Get as much of this as we possibly can until we hit the tree inevitably. And we'll scooch around the tree. Lovely. That did a lovely job right there. Uh, a bit too close that time. Hard to scooch around it when you've uh, absolutely mashed it into it. Right, there we go. Get all of this done. Does it work backwards? It does not work backwards. Oof. But, oh, there we go. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Uh, and then we got a little bit more, I think, just underneath the tree. I like this. This is good. There we go, right. So now we can fold you up, and when we go look at the grass, 50% fertilized, okay. Oh, we've actually pulled up a little bit of this, haven't we? This is canola, okay. Whoops. We accidentally dug up a bit of canola, never mind. Never mind, I forgot that that field was planted already. Uh, I shouldn't have because, yeah, I definitely did it. <laughs> uh, check that that's now, yeah, that's limited to fields now. All right, so we just got to go over a little bit of that field again. That's not a big deal. That's not a big deal at all. Uh, so we do need to put the fertilizer into the drill for that job. Right, round we go. Back her in, and down you go. Lovely. Could have gone quite a lot further back with that, actually. Never mind. It'll, it'll do. It'll do. We we're about at the stage where we probably ought to buy a uh, a power washer now. Go on, get some fertilizer in there. Might as well take whatever it's got. Go on, one more. There's another thing over there, but we don't need that much. It uses less fertiliser than it does seed, so... We will cope with that right now. Uh, where to start? Let's start over here. Why not? It's going to be weird having this as an arable field as well now. Basically all going to be arable fields. On you go. 
And away we go. Hopefully 35% is enough to plant this. I don't see why it shouldn't be. Uh, let's zoom out a bit so we can see what the trailer's doing. There we go. It's going to be... That's actually not difficult to see what's already planted, is it? It's fairly obvious. There we go. We are on. Um, I think we'll go around that side just to check that it's done correctly on that side. But yeah, this field is going to be so much easier now to, to do because we can actually see... <laughs> Like the fences are now, well, the, the hedge is gone, so it's now a lot, lot better. That's superb. Uh, there we go. Hello, cars. It is quite nice having the traffic on in this game. It adds a little bit of interest, seeing people driving around while I'm doing the fields. It's not often that you come cl so close to a road that uh, you can see it, but yeah, that's the first time I've really actually noticed it. Um, but anyway, I do like having it there, despite the uh, the mayhem it sometimes causes. The mayhem's good for the video, though. You guys enjoy a bit of mayhem, so it's worth it just for that, really. this side of the tree now. Oof, just caught it. Just caught it. And around that side of the tree again because we didn't get all of it there. There we go. That's more like it. Superb. Uh, did you guys see my parking simulator? video got onto Fell Race this last week. Go check out the last week's episode and you'll see uh, see my car hat in there. It's always fun to get on there. I need to submit the clip from actually last week's episode of this where we drove over the car. I thought that was quite a fun one. The car core. Hopefully that'll get on there as well. I've submitted several clips recently and uh, only that one made it on so bit sad. I thought the others were quite good. Maybe not as as super exciting as uh, other ones, but there's there's a lot of other clips on there that I think they were more exciting than. So uh, I'm not sure quite why they didn't get on, but hey. Who knows the workings of the Mind of Fail race. I wonder who uh, does it actually, it might not even be him that does it, he might have somebody else that puts those together and then he just commentates over them. He does have a, a staff. I think they just do the um, like moderation and I think one of them, I can't remember which one it is, it might be Danger Man, it's either Danger Man or Lado, I can't remember which one, I think they look after the merch for him they do his merch. If ever there's an advert then whichever one of them it is, is is usually in it. Plug in the old merch. Um, I probably should have done this as a hyperlapse as well but I didn't. I'm making you watch. We've committed now so let's let's just let's just get on with it shall we. We'll make the best of it. I made you watch the whole of the hedge uh, cutting as well. I was in two minds whether to do that, and uh, it turns out I did do that. So, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> made you watch the whole thing. Uh, we're nearly there, though. We are nearly there. I'm hoping to go and see Ghostbusters uh, this week. I've been uh, unable to see it so far. One of my friends organises uh, screenings at the local cinema that are autism friendly. Um, 
so they have the the lights not the lights on but the they've got some red lights that are on in the auditorium so that you've got a little bit of vision um, there's no no adverts at the beginning no trailers or anything it's just the film starts at, at the showing time and that's it and um, you're allowed to move around and you're allowed to talk during the film so um, I like to go along and support them because the more people that go to them, obviously, it means they'll they'll do them in future. And I'm sure it's appreciated, so I like to go and, and help bump the numbers for that, keep it running. Um, but yeah, they showed Ghostbusters on Monday night. I wasn't able to go, unfortunately, because we, we went to the zoo during the day. And by the time we were done, I was just, I was absolutely knackered. My muscles were killing me because I don't do a lot of uh, walking, so I'm not used to it. And yeah, we were done and like, no, nah, I'm not going to the cinema tonight, I'm afraid. Hopefully we'll go this week, me and uh, Mrs. ASQ. Mrs. Ask, and yeah, we might go for a meal as well, maybe a Pizza Express. Make a night of it. We're actually thinking about going away this weekend. I'm talking about anything except farming now, I hope you don't mind. Yeah, there's a concert there's about that she wants to go and see. It's uh, classical music, and there's a couple of people in the orchestra, which is why she wants to go and see it, that we know. Um, you know what, let's back up and get that, because it'll be worth it. Um, yeah, so uh, that's about an hour away, and so we're thinking maybe what we might do is, is either the night before or the night that it is um, we might stay somewhere and make it a little bit of a small holiday you know night away type affair so that might be nice I haven't got uh, a video recorded for Monday yet for tomorrow tomorrow when this video goes out I'm recording this on Wednesday before so quite far in advance but uh, yeah, I think I might have to record that one on the day. I don't know whether I'll be playing before then. Uh, we're going to need the thing soon, the um, weeder. So I'm going to put this in next to the baler, I think. Are we clear? We're just about clear. Nice. Sweet. Right. Well, that's that job done. Uh, so I guess the last thing to do, really, is to uh, get these wrapped. Uh, let's let's take this tractor, and we'll do a little bit of wrapping. I might even use the uh, the forks as appropriate, as is appropriate. Oh, I need to fold it up first, don't I? Oh, blimey, that hit the hedge. I never get used to having the uh, forks so far out ahead of the uh, of the tractor. Uh, where are we? There we are. Right. Start the engine, then fold it, then stop the engine, then get out. Blimey. Feels weird that you can get into that and drive it. <laughs> I don't really know why that's a thing. But hey, it's a thing. So... We will we will make do with it. Uh, where do we want this? We want this. Uh, we need a little bit of space, so we'll go there, I think. And then we have to get in. Start the engine. Unfold. Stop the engine. <laughs> uh, I don't know why the engine doesn't need to run in order to. Um, in order to wrap. That doesn't quite make sense. Unless it's like an auto start thing. It runs itself when it needs to. Oh blimey. I picked the most awkward one, didn't I? Uh, eesh, go on. There we go, there we go, there we go. You can do it. No, no, we can't do it. I'm terrible at this. There we are. Oh no, we're still not there. <laughs> I'm just going to have to go around, aren't I? That's that's the answer. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
blimey. Just about carries the weight of one of these bales, this tractor. There we go. You go there. Go on. You're going to go. Oh, for goodness sake. Right, I have to do it that way. No, go on. This is this is actually fighting me the whole way. There we go. Lovely. Actually got one. Blimey. Uh, right. I will do a uh, hyperlapse of the rest of this, and then I'll see you on uh, the other side. What the hell? <laughs> that was weird. I will see you guys on the other side. There it is, that's the last of it. Let's turn that off. Beautiful. And then we jump in here and wrap the last one. Superb. Cool. Just enough room before we bump into the tractor there. Uh, start the engine up and then we can fold it up again. In fact, we could just drive the thing out the way and back into its, uh, into its little home over there. Blimey. <laughs> oh, come on, there we are. It is a bit slow though. But by the time I've driven around it to hitch up and everything, it's probably about the right, uh, about the same amount of time to do it this way. But that's cool. It's got 1.1 hours on it, that little thing. Oh, blimey. Uh, let's go, there we go. <laughs> to jump vehicles in order to get out. Right, so we got some more silage and we've got a whole another arable field now that's now large uh, and is currently growing canola. So if uh, if we earn enough money, which I'm guessing we will do because we got this silage to sell and we might even have another cut off of, uh, off of the neighboring field. Uh, it's got two more months maybe. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be, yeah, we will have enough money. We could buy we could in fact buy the oil factory um, and then start making canola oil. That could be a way to go. Let me know what you think about that in the comments uh, and we might look at doing that as we move forward. So yeah, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate you guys as always. Please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the video and um, don't forget to join Discord, there's a link in the description and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time. Bye!